Driving Cape Breton's Cabot Trail has always been a great way to take in the spectacular fall colors on display in the highlands. There's now a new way to see expansive views of not only the leaves but the ocean and Inganish all in one place. Destination Cape Smoky just opened Atlantic Canada's only gondola and I had to see it for myself. From Nova Scotia's capital in Halifax, the drive will take about 5 hours and 20 minutes and spans 439 kilometers. I got up early and drove through the morning fog, knowing I was in for a stunner of a day once the fog lifted. And it did so right on cue. After taking this tiny little ferry ride at English Town, I was almost there. The fall colors along the way were definitely not peaking as of this shoot, with some brilliant exceptions. As days get shorter, there will be more color to come as leaves change color with less sunlight and cooler temperatures. Cape Smoky has been a ski destination since the 1970s, but new owners who took over in 2019 wanted to turn it into a year-round destination. You never really see gondolas in North America and I fully don't know the uh, the answer to it. It's uh, In Europe they are becoming more and more popular as overall there are certain ski resorts which just operate with gondola for the comfort of the client especially in the winter times you know you put the skis outside you come here and you're protected from the elements and so on so it's much more a comfortable experience as a whole uh, to enjoy yourself and you're able to ski for longer and so on it's not so fatiguing as uh, skiing uh, in the cold but most importantly, why we went with the gondola is because we are all year-round operation. The gondola is accessible and less risky for children than a typical ski lift because the door closes so you can't fall out. It takes about eight minutes to get to the top. Well, there's plenty of space here in the gondola. There's lots of room to uh, stretch out your legs. Of course, I'm alone in here, but I'm also impressed by just how quiet it is. You can sit and just really take in those gorgeous views. As for winds, the limit is 80 kilometers per hour, but you slow down if it's blowing to 60. The wind definitely is a factor, but it would not be any different than from a chairlift. The only difference is that, you know, it has a little bit of a side, more side wind if the wind goes a little bit from the side that it has to handle. At the top, you get a bird's eye view of Cape Breton Highland National Park, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Inganish Beach below. Well, you'd be hard pressed to find a better view than this looking out at the ocean and I almost feel like I cheated a bit because I came up in the gondola I'm not at the end of some massive hike I can just come up grab a beer and enjoy the view there are three viewing platforms up top with a small bar you can also go on a short hike the view from this site is, is second to none it's just fantastic a view of the ocean plans are now in the works for a massive tree walk to be constructed well it was a bit of a hike to the gondola from halifax roughly five hours so on the way back i decided to uh, stop here at my favorite yurt rental place and rent a yurt here at the cabot shores it's a nifty little spot i'll take you right in with me as you can see, these are Mongolian yurts. Got my nice big bed there so I can have a night's rest before I head back in the morning. That's Cape Breton for you.